Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's a beautiful sunny Friday here in Pennsylvania and uh, I'm so excited it's done raining and it's somewhat warm out. Um, so we're gonna get started on some Jeep projects. Um, I just wanna say thank you. Um, I'm really excited with the channel, how fast it's taken off. I think we're almost to 300 subscribers already um, and getting comments and views, so I really appreciate it. Um, and I thank our other subscribers from our other channel that have come over. Uh, we're so thankful for that. So we've got a couple projects today. I got the Jeep out in the sun. Um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing in the next week or so on the Jeep. Um, Nothing major, but just a couple little things. I have a leaky uh, transfer case seal, so we're gonna use one of my Red Eye Cafe polars to replace the seal. Um, we have a little uh, tire siping to do on uh, my spare tire. It's one I missed back when I did that before, so we'll show that. Um, and then I'm gonna do something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but haven't, and that's um, finally get around to installing the proportioning valve. Um, on my brake system so we got some fittings and I get the brake lines and do that. Before we get to that stuff though the number one request I've had so far was uh, more information on my roll cage setup so it's something I built last spring um, before an off-roading trip um, that I wanted to go on. I did some videos on it already but they're not on this channel so um, we're gonna show you here um, how it is now currently and then we're gonna dig into the video vault and give you a little breakdown on how I built that and just kind of show the process. Here's what it looks like today. My goal with this was to just provide some um, protection um, while keeping a sort of stock look and using, um, following where the original CJ2 bows would go. So it replaced um, the bows and you can see I still run the side little bars and the center bar. Um, I didn't go with a front hoop yet. I may add one eventually. Um, this isn't a rock crawler and I'm not out <laughs> doing anything too crazy. I mainly wanted some protection if it were to uh, flop over on the trail just to protect the passengers in a minor um, Here's event. a look at it from the inside. Um, it has these uh, clasps that hold it to the cage. It has some uh, supports going to the back and then around the back opening to help with uh, side flex if it were to roll over. Um, this top was made by Classic Jeep Tops. I'll put a link in the description. Um, that's Jeff Petrowich, um, Bam Bam's owner, in case you didn't know that. I can't take credit for this design. Um, it was his idea, and then I kind of made my own little tweaks to it, um, and then he helped me with the top. So I'm really pleased with it. Pretty much stays on here all the time, and uh, we love it. So it's great protection from the sun, and uh, elements and it gives it a pretty cool look I think. I don't know if you can see in there but it does tie into the frame um, in four different spots with the same tubing and I have uh, brace pads on the frame as well. It's welded down there and uh, it's uh, bolted sandwiched with rubber on both sides so you can take off the bolts and remove the cage and then the body and then the frame braces will remain there. So that was my hope, so that it can be taken on and off. It's not welded in directly. Um, what do you think, dog? She approved. When I built it, I wanted to make some frame protection as well. Or not frame, but uh, body protection. So um, this is the same tubing I had leftovers. And uh, that's welded to the frame and then bolted to the tub. So it can still be removed. You can remove the body just to kind of help with um, if you're sliding over rocks or logs to keep from folding over the bottom edge of the tub. So, so that's, that's the breakdown it. on the roll cage. Um, if you stick around for the next couple minutes, I got some footage from when I built this thing last year. Um, I had just gotten a TIG welder for this project, so I was kind of learning, and uh, I think I've gotten a lot better since then, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Please ask as many questions as you want, and I will try to answer all of them. Uh, just once again, thank you for, for watching and subscribing and sticking around, and uh, stay tuned this week. We're going to have lots more um, cool stuff coming at you. So have a great Friday, great weekend. Talk to you later. All right, so we got the first two bends done. Um, as you can see, they're not quite 90 because I'm going to try to arch that top rail to match the rail on the top bows. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll end up going straight 90s on the side. But um, So we'll pop it out of the bender and hopefully my bends are parallel and the right distance apart. This was kind of uh, uh, the trial run, the first bends. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm 
doing it. So I'll keep you updated. Got that one done. Pretty happy with it. I bent it in three spots across the top um, to get the uh, slight arched look. And it's a little choppy just because it's uh, bent in only three spots. But it's uh, with the top on, I don't think you'll notice it too much. So I'll try to replicate that with the center bow and uh, see what I can do. How's it going? Um, just got some updates for you on the uh, Willie's roll cage project. Um, you saw yesterday or the other day I uh, got to notch the tubing, used my handy dandy homemade notcher. Um, so that's all done. I got the cage out right now. Just drilling the, uh, the holes. I could mark them and get them all drilled. Now it's flipped up here and I am working on, uh, I have it tack welded, so we're gonna finish out the welds. Oh, got a lot of junk in here. And uh, then we can uh, paint it and get ready to uh, do the bracing. Um, there's gonna be plates up underneath to attach it to the frame. So I'm gonna get started on that right now.